Hello, this is Bob Mann, and uh, this is one of my CNG conversions. It's a 2000 Nissan Xterra SUV, six cylinder, converted to CNG. And this uses a, uh, a sequential injection system. I'm going to give you kind of a look around of how this thing's laid out. It uses six injectors, and I've made up my own injector rail so that these sit right on top of the existing injectors. As you can see there, they, let, they nestled right in. And over to here to the left is the computer, the controller. That's the CNG computer. This is a slave system, so this mimics what the existing car does on gasoline. This is a bi-fuel car, so it has the capacity to run on natural gas or gasoline. And over here is the uh, high pressure regulator, which the car has tanks in the back uh, at 3,500 pounds and then drops it down to uh, roughly two bars. And it's a very simple installation. This is considered a universal system. And how it works is it goes in and it just mimics the existing system. Installed correctly, uh, I end up with the same performance and almost a little better gas mileage than it does on gasoline. Uh, I'm going to take it for a test drive and give you a show of just how the simplest system works and how efficient this works. Uh, this vehicle has the capacity of a, almost 300 miles on natural gas, plus has the still uh, stock functioning gasoline system with you know another three or 400 miles to the tank. Uh, it's a real fun ride and uh, this gives you an insight of just how simple uh, we can in the United States switch over from our dependence on oil and gasoline to natural gas considering we have such an abundance and as you can see it's a very simple laid-in system and um, just pretty straightforward. And here we are in the uh, inside the car and it's a very basic uh, simple system over here on the uh, right side there's the little wind little button that turns on and off the natural gas system and right now it is programmed to turn on itself after the vehicle starts up on gasoline. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you right now. Uh, this car is set for uh, once the coolant hits uh, 20 degrees Celsius and 30 seconds of runtime. And I'm going to go ahead and um, see right there it just kicked up its pace and now this car is ready to convert from natural gas to gasoline on the fly of driving. And I'm going to go ahead and Set you, go ahead and do that for you. Uh, this car I've set up to it come on on during acceleration. And if you keep an eye on the light, you'll, you'll get to see it. And they are just switched right over for you. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and take a little drive with the camera and uh, this and right now this car is running on natural gas it's switched right over very smoothly and the performance of this car on natural gas uh, is just amazing it's um, a 2000 Nissan Xterra SUV vehicle and there you go and as you can see the RPM tachometer moving and we're doing about 30 miles an hour 40 in my neighborhood and this is just just an amazing way to go. Um, anybody that knows some of the cars I've converted and bought my cars is they, they're pretty much a turnkey operation. And this vehicle will run like this uh, till you shut it off, and then it goes through the same sequence 30 seconds or till it warms up um, and uh, converts automatically as soon as you accelerate just a little bit. see she just drives fine no hesitation downshifts as good acceleration and as I said it has better acceleration on natural gas than it does on gasoline and this is a v6 Nissan 2000 Xterra now as the gas go is used up it will drop the little LEDs to let you know electric like a gas tank that it's getting less and less and less and then eventually the system will shut itself off automatically and go right to natural gas when it's below the set level in the tank 
uh, under pressure and uh, go right on to net under gasoline. I'm going to go ahead and shut off the system so you can get a kind of a handle of what happens. It just went right back onto gasoline. That's what the little yellow light, yellow light means. And I'm going to go ahead and hit it again for us. And it just went right back onto natural gas. It didn't, it doesn't even hesitate. I set it for a, a delay. If I'm at a certain RPM, it'll go right back onto natural gas if I'm to shut it off. So the flexibility of these type of kits is just um, amazing. We have two vehicles. We don't buy gasoline. We pay 60 cents a gallon for natural gas filled up at home. And I'll give you a, a rundown on how we do that next. This is Bob Mann, uh, C&G Motors, whatever you want to call me, Dr. Volks. And uh, that's uh, my life with C&G and how I save anywhere from two to $400 a month on fuel costs by converting to natural gas. Well, here's our Nissan Xterra. As you can see, we have the C&G uh, label on the front and there's one on the back and this conforms to the fire prevention rules and regulations and CSA uh, for the United States. So how do I fuel up? How do I do it at 60 cents a gallon, you may ask, okay? Well, what I've done here, as you can see here, is I have put the uh, filler for the C and G right here, right where the regular one is. And over here in the wall is my line. And I have a, connects over to, in the corner, a big compressor, a com natural gas compressor. It's no different than a, a scuba diving pump. I take the hose and I go ahead and I pull the hose back. I push it down and I connect it. And then all I have to do over here is take the valve and turn the valve. And then it fills the, starts to fill the car. And when the pressures drop down to a set value on the pump, you can hear the pump come on. And that's all it does. It's just gonna go ahead and fill up my car. So when I'm all said and done here, at uh, home, I am only paying 60 cents a gallon, and uh, that's how we do it. We run two cars like this, and now this car is being filled up. Uh, I get about two gallons an hour, and I'm good to go. And we've been doing this for five years on the filling at home, and we are very happy with it. Then we can save anywhere from two to three hundred dollars a month in fuel costs. So why isn't the rest of the country doing this? That's something you'll have to ask your uh, senators and congressmen why they just don't step up.